uh, did, what kinds of things did he do to encourage them to pursue righteousness? First of all, the Prophet والسلام, used to engage his wives in whatever means that would draw them closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Hmm. In Ramadan, for example, in the last 10 nights, the Prophet والسلام, used to send to his wives to wake them up and to pray all night until Fajr because this is where the greatest possibility of the night of decree, Laylatul Qadr, to be. Mm. He used to pray all night, but when it came to Witr prayer, he used to wake uh, uh, Aisha up so that she prays Witr with him. Mm. He used to teach us and he says, may Allah have mercy upon a man who wakes up in the middle of the night wakes his wife to pray with him and if she refuses he sprinkles water in her face and may Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy upon a woman who wakes up in the middle of the night to pray and she wakes her husband and if he uh, uh, refuses she sprinkles water in his face so all of these show us that the Prophet والسلام, would do whatever is needed to encourage his wives mm. to do righteous things Zainab bin Jahsh, may mm. Allah be pleased with her. The Prophet went to pray Fajr and he came after sunrise, which is an hour plus. And he found Zainab sitting on her prayer mat mm -hmm. as he left her before Fajr. So she was staying, making dhikr. Mm. The Prophet teaches her and he says, I had said four statements, four phrases. If they were to be compared to whatever you had said throughout this hour plus, it would overweigh them. And he teaches her, Subhanallah wa bihamdih, adada khalqih, glorifying Allah Azza wa and praising Him uh, uh, as much as His creation, as much as His throne weighs, as much as the number of uh, um, His words, as much as the ink his words are written uh, in, as, as much as he's pleased, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is showing you that the Prophet would not, alayhi salatu wasalam, accept for anything less for his wives. And if you compare apple to apple, mm -hmm. if you look how we treat our wives, you would see a big gap in the sense that we care for them physically. We care for how they look and how people look at them. But rarely we would give them sound advice to how to stay away from sin or to get closer to Allah through good deeds. Rarely you will find a spouse telling his wife, wake up with me in the middle of the night and let's pray tahajjud. Mm -hmm. Or let us revise one another how much we memorize from the Quran because we may forget so, okay, every day we will revise a page or two for one another just to keep in touch. Also, when they do sins or bad things, we tend to look the other way. Hmm. We don't want nagging. We don't want to depress them or to anger them. This is wrong. The Prophet ﷺ was once with Aisha. Mm -hmm. And she mentioned... Safiya, and Safiya, who was a Jew, was a beautiful woman. So the Prophet ﷺ was talking to her and she wanted to sort of discredit Safiya so that the Prophet would not love her more than her. Mm -hmm. So she said, it's sufficient, O Prophet of Allah, that Safiya is this short. That she wasn't tall, she was short. Mm. And the Prophet did not stop there. He said, ﷺ, you have said a statement so bad that it, if it were to be mixed with the water of the oceans, it would have spoiled it. Mm. So this is a simple word, she's short, mm. but it's backbiting and Allah Azza wa would hold you accountable mm. to it. Mm. The Prophet went into his house once and saw a rope dangling either from the house or from the masjid. So he said, what, what is this rope? And they told him that this rope belonged to Zainab your wife, whenever she prayed night prayer and she was so tired and weak, 
to stand up, she would hang on to it so that she can stand up. And the Prophet ﷺ told them to untie it. This is not permissible. You are overburdening yourself in a way that Allah does not want this from you. He did not say that, mashallah, good. What you're doing is good. No. So this is the kind of relationship between the spouses. They love and want what is best for the spouse in this life, yet also in the hereafter. In the hereafter. Mm.